hi guys welcome back to my channel so i know i'm a little bit late on the train but i am going to be showing you how i achieved this euphoria makeup look coming soon to a theater near you because it's almost halloween no i'm kidding but yes actually since it's almost halloween one month before i've been punctual I am going to be showing you a couple of Halloween inspired makeup looks. I got inspired on this picture by Zendaya because I've always seen it and I always loved like the whole crying glittery vibe. So this is what I tried to achieve today with a girlier twist, my natural messy hair just like her and go ahead and watch the video and let's get ready together. Happy Halloween. So first I'm going to be starting with a liquid foundation. I'm going to be applying two kinds of foundations today because these Sephora girls, they have like perfect skin. I mean, I know they're like 13 years old, but either way, they have perfect skin. I take a wet beauty blender and I'm going to start dabbing it all over my skin. I didn't tell you guys the shade of the foundation, but it's by Makeup Forever. I couldn't really find a shade. I'm guessing it's R250. I'm not really sure. But up next, I'm going to be applying the powder foundation. The one, oops, the one I use in every single video by Body Maquillaje in shade one. So I take my powder brush. I tap off the excess and I start dabbing it all over my face. Up next, we move on to the concealer. This one is by Geek Cosmetics. It's in shade 01. I had been saying in other videos that this had such a long name, but it's actually just shade 01. So yay for simpleness, am I right? I'm going to be applying a little bit on my eyelids because I want the makeup to be very pronounced. And then I take my chubby powder brush and I start dabbing that to create this really good coverage. So Sunday's makeup is very neutral. The only thing that pops is the star and the glitter. But I want to add a little bit of color, but to start with the color, I am going to create a base using my Huda Beauty Nude Light. We are going to be using this kind of coralish color, which I find is very nice in contrast with purple, which is the glitter that we're gonna be applying. I take my flat eyeliner brush we tap off the excess and then we're gonna tap everything over the eye, but literally all over the lid. We don't wanna miss one spot because yes, Euphoria makeup, Euphoria makeup is really perfect all the time, but they also have this kind of like really grungy, really like, kind of like undone makeup, which is actually done with so much precision because for an undone makeup to look clean it takes it takes skills girl so i'm gonna take my crease brush and i'm going to be using this brown from the same palette that we just took applying it all over the crease we are then gonna have to take a smudge brush to smudge it because it looks a little bit too harsh a bit harsher than we wanted to look. Quite frankly, I have never watched the show, but I've always been obsessed. Don't kill me. I've always been obsessed with their makeup and their outfits and their hairstyles and everything. I chose a really simple one today because, I mean, I just wanted to get that whole kind of natural, grungy, Zendaya crying vibe. So let's hope it turns out the way I have it planned in my mind. I'm gonna be using this little palette. It literally has no brand. I bought it in Dubai at a really cheap store called Day to Day. 
Anyway, so I'm gonna be taking this one, this pink and this white that are both very holographic. But since these ones are like a glitter nail polish that you need a base before that, I am going to be using this little shade right here from the Huda Beauty palette and I'm gonna apply it all over my eyelid. So I take my eyeshadow brush, take a little bit and I tap it. And I mean, Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes are just, oh my God, they're insane. Like they have so much pigment and this one just looks so nice. And it's gonna add that depth to the glittery eyeshadow. Voila! So this adds that kind of base effect, which is glitter on glitter. That is perfect because the more glitter in this case, the merrier. I want to apply a little bit of purple shadow too. So I'm gonna be using this Chanel. There's this kind of pinkish shade. I wanna take that one and apply a little bit where the brown is. It was just something very, very simple, very, very light, but in that same palette, we have this kind of like pur very, very light whitish purple. That one, I wanna put it in the inner corner of my eyes with my finger. And then this way the eyes start taking like a more glitterish, holographic, vibey kind of look. And if you see the pink that we added on top of the brown, kinda gives you that little bit of pinker, rosy vibe on the eyes, which is exactly what we want. Cause I feel that all the Euphoria characters are very like, all of them represent two things the good and the bad, the feminine and the masculine. And in this particular look, I love how Zendaya is dressed very masculine, but her makeup is pink and feminine. And you know, it's like that heavy makeup with the natural hair. It's like a contrast of everything. And I absolutely love that vibe. So I have this pink 21 palette. It's actually for my sister, but she lent it to me because I wanted to use this electric purple Hello Euphoria. I'm gonna be taking my crease brush, going through that purple, which I am a little bit scared to use. And we're gonna go on top. Well, more like in the center of the eye between the pink shimmer and the brown. So it's not really going that as much pigmented as I wanted to. So I'm gonna be taking a little bit of my concealer because I wanna create sort of a line there, kind of like a cut crease and draw this purple line. So I go to my concealer. I'm gonna be taking my thin eyeliner brush and I'm gonna create a little cut crease. Ooh, this one doesn't have a mirror and I'm like, where am I gonna look at myself here? I am going to be creating that little line that we want. It looks kind of weird right now, but it's gonna look nice later. I promise. Ooh, we just want to create like a really dramatic look. It's only an inspired makeup look. It's not necessarily the real deal. So I'm taking a little bit of Euphoria style with my style and creating, well, whatever it turns out to be after we finish this look. So we go to the other eye. Oh my God. One eye is always tougher than the other. So I'm like, Eep. I'm so scared to do the left eye. Cause uh, I'm sorry, but the cut crease is going a lot less subtle here. I mean, it's like splush. Another way to make this eyeshadow more intense, I am gonna be taking my setting spray and I'm gonna be spraying this little brush. So a wet brush makes any kind of eyeshadow much more pigmented. So we go back to that Pink 21 palette and we take the purple. Oh my God, you're not nervous, I am.
Oh my god, I feel a little bit loony. And you know what I want to do? I actually want to take that same purple and apply it under my eyes. So what I did right now is like that the three quarters to the outside, I smoked it out a bit so that it didn't look as intense as the inside part because now we're going to the glitter. Oh my God. I'm actually really excited for this part of the video. So I'm gonna be taking this pink. Do my nails match the glitter or what? E. And we are literally not even gonna be careful. We're just gonna smudge it all over the eye. And then we take a little bit of the holographic white with that same finger. It doesn't matter because the glitter is gonna mix up anyway. And we go over the same part of the eye. What do y'all think? I thought it was gonna look more intense. Anyway, let's just keep rolling and we'll see the final result. So I have this dark plum eyeliner by Chanel. It's in shade 08, but it's really nice because it just goes like this and it looks almost black. We are going to be applying that on the top part of our eye and we're going to smudge it and then a little bit on the bottom too, but in the inside of the waterline. And then we're going to take a smudge brush and we're going to smudge it out, only the one on the top part. And you want, you want to know what you guys like? The glitter is falling on the bottom part of, oh my God, no, my makeup cannot get ruined. So I definitely wanna put a little bit more of pink eyeshadow on my eyes because I feel that the whole wetness of these little glittery stuff um, just kind of ruined my look. So I'm gonna be going on top of it with a little bit more purple, which will probably make it look more intense. So let's give it a try. So I'm gonna be taking an eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna be dapping it, tapping it, dabbing it in the purple. And we're gonna go on top of it with that. And yes, it definitely does look more intense. I'm gonna be taking a little bit of this kind of like mauve-ish pink. And I'm gonna be putting that on top of the purple. And then we're gonna be going back to that Huda Beauty eyeshadow, but this time I wanna apply actually this lighter shade of pink. You know what, you guys? I was actually really scared away of where the whole makeup situation was taking me, but I'm actually liking it more gonna be taking a little bit of this shimmery urban decay eyeshadow it's in shade grind so I'm gonna be taking a little bit of that and let's see how intense it looks I'm just gonna tap it on top of the whole eye just to make it slightly more glittery and lighter we want it grungy but with a soft vibe so I'm gonna be taking a little bit of that same shade and putting it under my eyes. After that, I have to apply mascara before I put the glitter as a tear. They do not wear any blush. However, I want to use a little bit because I don't want to look too pale. I want my makeup to look pretty. So I take my mascara by Stin Lauder. It's my Sumptuous Extreme. So I'm just gonna be taking a blush brush, going a little bit over this bronzer and just very, very lightly applying it over my cheeks, very lightly. We don't want this to look, we don't want to look too bronzy and glowy. So I'm gonna be going over these holographic ones. They have a little bit of pink left. So I'm gonna be applying it under my eyes. Ooh, I actually like it. I might be dressing up as this for Halloween. You know how the vibe of that is that she's crying. It actually looks like I'm crying. 
So I'm gonna be taking a little bit of the pink and just kind of tapping just to give it a bit more color. And just because I love this whole glitter situation, I'm gonna be going on over a little bit with the silver to make it even more intense. But only to half of that kind of tear triangle that we're doing. We want to make sort of like an ombre effect. Okay, so I also have this little package that I've never opened. I think I bought this in England. But I'm gonna be taking these two teardrops to put them over here. You know how the Euphoria girls always have kind of like glitter tears. Oh my gosh, this isn't coming off. Oh, there you go. Okay, let's see. And just to add a bit more holographic shenzel, I am going to be going with my Dior Lip Glow, which is kind of like a unicorn color. Me and my unicorns. Um, it's a lip glow in shade 09. So, hmm, wow, I think I had never used this before. Oh, I totally like the vibe. Anyway, so you guys, this is a finished makeup look. I hope you liked it. If you have any other Euphoria or any other celebrity inspired makeup looks that you would like for me to do, particularly shows, because we might as well start a show series, just like my country series, we might as well start a show series, inspired makeups on our favorite shows. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe or comment down below on what you'd like to see next in my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Up next, we move on. Up next, we... Up next, we move on to the concealer. This is by Gitcox. <laughs> I'm going to be using this little palette. It literally has no brown, no brain. Well, let's... Let's improvise. This does not look euphoria at all anymore. Oh my god. Why am I so messy?